اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایا کا نعبد و ایا کا نستعین اہدن صراط المستقیم صراط الزین انعمت علیہم غیر المغدوب علیہم ولدالین آمین ربی شحلی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل اللقطتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربی زدنی علما اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما صلیت علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید اللہم بارک علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما بارکتا علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو الکیو ملٹن ایک 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 کلاس نمبر ففٹی سیون اور ففٹی ایٹ ایک فرگار ایک فرگار تو چیک بات انشاءاللہ ایک 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 ای Twelve, where Dr. Saab is trying to teach us the fail mudare or giving us more practice to identify the fail mudare or the present tense in the Quran and the different forms of mudare, whether it belongs to huwa huma hum, hiya huma hunna, different, the mayers. That's all it is. We already know these things. We've been preparing ourselves for quite some time to identify the mudare. Before we go into lesson number 13, which is in, in a short while, we have some ayahs on the board. And given our limited knowledge, limited knowledge that we have acquired so far, let's put that into practice okay because this morning Sheikh Riyad at the end of his talk said for us to taste the sweetness of Quran and understand and ponder upon the Quran we need to learn the language of Quran otherwise the translation will lose the emotions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sure and no one translation is 100% Quran cannot be translated exactly everyone agrees on it so what we will try to do is apply the concepts that we have learned so far in these ayahs and see if we can extract some gems or colors out of those ayahs. One of the most frequently used phenomena in Quran that we will come across is Ya Ayyuha. Sometime it comes with Ya Ayyuha Nasu, Ya Ayyuha Ya Allazina or Amanu or Kafaru, right? So the Ya Ayyuha, Ya Ayyuha Let's try to understand what this Ya Ayyuha is, okay? Because most of the time when we <coughs> go through the translation, the sweetness of these words or the emotions behind these words are lost, okay? O you people, O you who people, or O, o you are who, uh, uh, who, who believe or, or or who don't believe, right? Kafaru. Ya. What is a ya? 
Bionloya is called Harfunida. Right? We know is Harfunida. What is Harfunida? Particle of calling. You're calling somebody. Can I call myself? No. Can I call a third person who is not present here? Let's say a person who is not present. Can I call that person? No. Who should I call? I can only call a person who is in front of me. Second. Clue number one, second person. So whenever this ya ayyuha comes in Quran, your ear should be attentive now. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to us directly. Just like I'm talking to you or you're talking to me. A direct conversation is going to happen now. So this ya is harfunida, particle of calling. So immediately <coughs> if my teacher or my parents or uh, my superior is talking to me in a second person, <coughs> shouldn't I be very attentive right away? Oh, what he's going to say? Ayyuha. Ayyuha. Nadim bhai? Yeah. We know what it is. Harfu tambi. Now, scholars have differed when ayyuha comes, the emotions behind ayyuha is dependent on who are we addressing it to. Yeah. <coughs> if it is amanu, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a very polite manner giving us a tambi. What is a tambi? A warning. Like you go in somebody's ear and you just give them some advice. Right? That is the emotions. But if this ayuha is coming, kafaru or somebody who is not believing or a fasik, then it is a warning in intensity. Okay, so the emotions behind this ayuha changes who the addressee is, and the translation would not capture those emotions. But regardless, ayuha is harfu tambi, so we need to know who's the addressee, and I have to stop there and understand what are the emotions that are being expressed here in a second person. That is important. Ya ayyuhan nasu, O you who people. So this is itla am, right? This is a warning for everyone, right? Everyone, right? And nasu, the people. <coughs> so Allah subhanahu. So it is. Well, you can you can think about it. It is nas means everybody. So it is a tambi for everyone in general, right? What well, you there is. Uh, uh, when I say itla'am, itla'am is, is, is a news for everyone. Okay? Do you see amanu here? Do you see kafaru here? When it is annasu, then annasu includes both the kafaru and the amanu. Right? So we have to use our intellect here. And, and, and imagine the emotions that this ayyuha rutambi is coming from, right? So it is itla'am, that's what I use the word itla'am, or a common news for everyone, okay? So we have to use our imagination here. O you who people, antum. <coughs> We know antum, huwa humahum, hiya humahunna, anta, antuma, antum. You are all. So now, regardless of masculine or feminine gender, or uh, old or young, child, annasu includes everyone, people who believe or don't believe, everyone is inclusive. One of the uh, and this is more like a 
people who don't understand the language uh, when they look at it and then sometimes they say in their uh, since they don't, don't know the language ignorance is the word that I'm I was going to use in their ignorance they say that Quran basically addresses only the masculine gender because antum is masculine right it's antunna is the feminine gender in their ignorance they kind of try to s but remember in the Arabic language when antum is used as in all it includes both the masculine and the f also nas, uh, anas includes everyone it's human, yeah human yeah human yeah all human being but when the message is general it includes the feminine as well when the message is in general, the message is not specific to, if, if it's a general message, then you can't use both the masculine and the feminine gender. Yeah, at the same time, you only use the masculine, but you know the message is being given, it includes both the feminine and the masculine gender. That is what I'm trying to explain, right? Yeah, you are now, so you are all al fuqarau What do we see here? Faqirun. Faqirun means the person who's in need. Right? What is the plural of Faqirun? Fuqarau. Fuqarau. The people who are in need. An Nas. And when I say Al Fuqarau, the is specific. So you see how these colors and, and the sweetness of the language is bringing us more understanding and we are pondering upon these ayahs. Oh, you are people, you are all the needy. Ilallah, the needy. Specifically, you are all in need. Ilah is your harfjar and Allahi is your ism majroor. Illallah, right? You're all in need to Allah. In need of Allah. Now, you look at, look at the different translations. Alamba, you have shared um, a slide on the WhatsApp with word-to-word word -word word translation on it. But uh, people who who know the language, they know there are so there are. It's not exactly. Like you need to understand this this ayah in in its own language, right? right? Because different translation will give us. Some would say towards Allah, some would say of Allah or to Allah, but we know what Allah means, right? You are all in need of Allah or towards Allah. So now connect and now connect harfu tambi and the second person concept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to the entire humanity right entire humanity that you are in need of towards Allah what do we get there is no concept of time here there is no concept of time here past present and future because when we say annas it includes everyone from day one till the day end, right? There is no concept of time here. Wa and Allahu huwal ghaniyul hamid. Have you noticed something here? If Allah would have to say, if, and I'm just saying for the sake of learning, Allahul Ghaniul Hamid, would that be grammatically correct? Yeah, it would be grammatically correct. Allah is the most rich and the most uh, Hamid, uh, the who's most worthy of praise, right? Even if you take out Allah, it's still uh, Yeah, Allah if Allah takes, then who will Ghaniul Hamid, then it's still the gram uh, grammatically it is correct. Ho hold the thought. Wallahu huwal ghaniyul hamid. It is coming for emphasis, not badal. And Allah, 
ہی ایس ہوول غنی الحمید ہوا از کمنگ ایز فار ایمفیسس این اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ برنگز آؤٹ دا ایموشنس اینڈ دا کلرس ان ہز آیاس تھرو دا چوائس آف دیز اسمال ایڈجسٹمنٹس اینڈ موسٹ آف دا ٹائم دوز ایڈجسٹمنٹس اور دوز ایموشنس دیٹ اللہ از برنگنگ ان دا ہران آر لاسٹ ان دا ٹرانسلیشن دا ٹرانسلیشن آئی تھنک وی ہیو از اللہ از دا موسٹ رچ اینڈ دا موسٹ وردی آف being praised that's what the translation i think said right but we are missing the point allah is bringing allah huwal ghaniyul hamid that's that's if i would have to read this aya allahu wallahu huwal ghaniyul hamid huwa is coming for emphasis right so these are the things and huwa we know what this is huwa is the the mir munfasil the first the me the first pronoun who are which means he third person al ghani and al hamid we know what that means is now notice one more thing once we understand the language then we start to connect the dots al ghani al hamid why allah has to bring in the uh, definite nouns here because of al fuqara you see there is a connection here it is so precise like i mean the more we think about it the more uh, you say like this is not a human also fakir will go to ghani right? And once, okay, w- w- that's a good point in Ambai, we'll, we'll, t- we'll talk about it, keep this thought. See, definite is to definite. If Allah would have used, not have used the definite noun here, then this Ghaniyun Hamidun probably would be an imbalance. Yeah, right. It would be an imbalance. But then the whole eye, so that's why it's impossible that a human can make up these ayahs no i mean th- there's absolutely no error in, in 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 grammar and in the way that these ayahs are and to coming to your point in ambai al fuqarau is the person who is in need and al ghaniyu the rich the who, who who's got the resources and once you give somebody f- from a worldly manner and this brings me another point when you give somebody a faqir somebody because you have the resources what does he do he praises you right he praises you so al ghani wal hamid but then al ghani al hamid is only allah people cannot be al ghani and al hamid people can be ghani and hamid but they cannot be al ghani and al hamid and this is the most common error people say if somebody is named abdul ghani uh, uh, al ghani is because uh, uh, the servant of al ghani but i'm saying if somebody is named ghani you can name somebody ghani but you cannot name somebody al ghani because al ghani is only allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right so that's another point you can say abdul ghani though if you have to use al ghani in your name so just applying and this is only from the high level 10000 feet above right the more we think about it let's move on to the next one wa and iza when saalaka what is saala he questioned yeah he questioned or, or asked or asked and when saalaka you ask ask you. Uh, ask you sorry ask you right yeah when or if uh, what is iza when or if as as farasad bhai said see 
the, the issue with the English language when you try to translate then then when you try to translate the Arabic words or, or into uh, English then we have to think about the English grammar as well and that's where the confusion happens and that's where the translation cannot do the justice this is actually a harfu shart now how do you how do you uh, uh, how do you translate or say in, in the people who do the programming uh, they sometimes they use if if this then this people do that some or in common language say when you do this then i will do this you know so harfu shart but iza is harfu shart and whenever there is harfu shart whenever there is a condition there has to be a jawabu shart right if and when concept or if and then concept if this then this then this so in this ayah where is the before we do, before we read the shart where is the jawabu shart fa inni qareebun fa why there is a need of fa in this in this ayah then. yes if allah subhanahu wa taala would not have used fa then inni qareebun is also correct grammatically but this fa grammatically it is still correct but fa is coming because of iza because allah is creating a shart and then giving a jawabu shart so if you do this condition then this will happen otherwise it will not happen like most of the people they say allah is very close to me indeed allah is very close to me but they are not meeting the condition so what's the point of saying fa'ni qareebun if you are not meeting this first condition there is a, a hikmah in there right wisdom you have to think about it and most of the time people just say oh allah is very near to us i don't have to worry but did you ask him did you and when you ask ibadi what is ibadi my servants my servants anni about me right about me the people will ask about me fa inni qareebun uh, how many words in ibadi two abdun servant ibadun servants and ibadi my servants why there is a kasra because ya mutakallim brings down is compatible with the kasra we know that right my servants and when you ask my friend uh, uh, my servants anni about me har my my yeah when my servant asks you <laughs> when my servants ask you <laughs> about me anni harf jar is a majrur anni fa so inni how many words in inni two yeah what is what is going on here inna is coming and we know inna inna comes in the quran all the time but then inna no inna cannot be translated inna cannot be translated there is no word in english that can translate inna in translation we can we find many words and i have said it many 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 times but i keep emphasizing because it's probably my one of my favorite words probably surely verily indeed certainly there are different scholars have said different but none of these words have justified the word inna because the impact of inna is so and this is one of the things with the language the arabic language that some words have so much emotions behind them that they will change the structure of the word that is coming after them 
in english we don't see that right boy will remain boy table will remain table it will never no you can say certainly table is very strong but then your certainly is not going to change the table into something else because certainly is giving you yeah uh, some emphasis but in arabic language the emotions are so high in inna that it will change the ism that is coming after inna into mansub mansub form and ya mutakallim is your ismu inna and qareebun is your khabar inna harf tawqeed harf tawqeed when nasbin now see the this is what sheikh riyad was talking this morning that once we start picking these small little things then our pondering and i'm just going my imagination allah subhanahu wa taala talking about his existing existence using inna <coughs> but is not using inna in the first condition nadim bhai about his existence that no matter what i am in the indeed i am i am there right indeed surely verily certainly i am near but then here inna is not used he is the most certain he is a certain one and this is not certain but if you go if you meet this criteria then indeed i am near you but indeed he is does it doesn't matter he is still near you now people can differ but i think once we start pondering upon it our iman only increases that's why quran is i think the last ayah will answer this uh, what you're saying wa yahdi ilahi man anaba when he yeah exactly yeah 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 exactly Yeah, yeah. Even though it says me, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, is a yeah. Mutakallim is your damir mutasil. Damir mutasil coming as ismu inna mansub, because yeah, mutakallim is is uh, mabni. Is mabni. Even though uh, in Mumbai, I think you had. when you wrote these ayas you had a certain sequence sequence there i don't want to uh, because not in quran uh, uh, this is not a sequence but if you ask about him uh, if you ask uh, if my servants ask you about me then i am indeed so faina tum so where are you going right so that then we or, or so you are so fa is your hafu ataf fa, uh, or you can use then as well so fa far so rush it towards allah fa far you allah wa yahdi ilahi man ab and allah will give guidance to who who are who returns to him so i think this is the concept you had in mind but let's move on so fa comes uh hafu ataf aina we know aina where tazhabun fil mudare how do i know is fil mudare shajil bhai ta ta right so where are you going and where is the file in tazhabun no huh no wow wow is the file yeah wow is the file and is it marfu yes what is the sign of it being marfu do this is what we are learning we already learned it but this is what we are learning in lesson number 13 i forgot the the time uh, to put the time in there how much time we have uh, half an hour half an hour okay okay fa firru ila allah so firru is your fail uh, your verb which means to rush towards somewhere fa firru ila allah so rush towards allah we know the harf jar is a majrur wa yahdi ilaihi man anab and yahdi is it uh, fil mudare yahda yahdi right 
Yahadi and Allah gave guidance towards him whosoever wants to return back to him man anab there are other things going on as well but i think ilaihi is your harf jar is some majroor towards him we have already learned that man we know man whosoever anab means is is a verb returns back to him so i think these are very small ayas fa'ina tazabun fa firru ila allah wa yahdi lahi man anab i mean we can still understand at least translated in our mind without the use of translation a b apply some knowledge and try to get some colors and emotions from these ayas uh, applying our knowledge so let's go to lesson number 13 it's a very small lesson page number 91 and with this lesson number 13 we have so al for certain words al is allowed it's huh? just only the names of allah when it they comes with al can comes with anything right okay. al can come with anything but i'm talking about the names of allah right lesson number 13 13 very simple पेज नंबर नाइन्टी वन अलगाइब द थर्ड पर्सन मुजक्कर एंड मोनस मैस्कुलर एंड फेमिन हामिदन यजहबू आमिन तु तजहबू हामिदन व अलीन व हाशम यजहबूना यजहबूना आमिन तु व मरियबू व जैनबू yes habna let's can conjugate uh, zahaba yazhabu okay zahaba yazhabu yazhabu yazhabani yazhabuna tazhabu tazhabani yazhabna tazhabu tazhabani tazhabuna tazhabina tazhabani tazhabna azhabu nazhabu right the 14 pronouns we know that so when i say hamid third person singular i would use yazhabu but when it becomes plural more than two hamidun wa aliyun wa hashimun then i would use yazhabuna right and when it comes to feminine aminatu tazhabu right but when it's more than two aminatu wa maryamu wa zainabu yazhabna right because we are talking about hunna now hunna al mukhatib second person anta tazhabu antum tazhabuna right anta antuma antum here in this chart the duals are missing monas anti tazhabina antunna tazhabna now i want to ask Does habuna? Where is the file? Wow, is the file, right? And how do I know it's fail mudare? Because the sign of mudare ta is there, right? Al mutakallim, first person. Al muzakir ana azhabu, nahnu nashabu, right? Ana azhabu, nahnu nashabu. We have done this many times. So we have already we already know these things. Let's move on to the exercises. Beautiful exercises. Here, Doctor Sahab is giving us only one verb, zahaba, and asking us to use a proper form of fail mudare in zahaba form, zahaba yazhabu, depending on who are we talking about, who is addressed. So, in the first one, we are talking to ya Aisha. So, first thing I know, ya Aisha. Ya is coming, so it is harfun nida. Aisha is in front of us, second person. Number first thing I know. 
second thing so i so whatever uh, form of uh, fil mudari i will use i will use the second person singular feminine and what is that uh he a he a form oh sorry anti form tazhabina tazhabina remember tazhabina tazhabina so we'll use tazhabina here so fi ayyi saatin tazhabina ila al jamiati ya aisha at what time or in which time you are going to the university o oh, aisha tazhabina where is the uh, where is the file in tazhabina yeah second one at tulabu the students and then there's a blank ila al malabi baad al darsa they will go to so when what should i use first of all exact uh, first of all at tulabu so at tulabu means third person uh, right they are not in front of me or uh, front us yes habuna yes habuna and antum form so we are using our imagination now third one ana what should i what should i use azhabu ana azhabu i will go ila suki to the market yawm al juma faqat only on fridays and one thing that i learned from the teacher from my teacher faqat the word faqat never used in quran was never used in quran number 4 mata ya ikhwan oh brothers so when i say ya ikhwan that means now immediately i i by uh, i'm thinking about second person and masculine <coughs> and plural so what should i use tazhabuna exactly ummi my mother third person singular feminine here form so what should i use tazhabu tazhabu li ziyarat al mudiri oh sorry ummi tazhabu ila al mustashfa kull yawm li annaha maridatun because she is sick i'm not going through the entire sentence we know the meaning of the sentence but i'm just focusing on the mudare form number 6 because she is number 6 ya banati bintun banatun ya exactly second person plural second person feminine so what should i use tazhabna tazhabna we should we should practice these things right tazhabna we are talking antunna now daughters daughters not just daughter daughters right plural feminine second person tazhabna number 7 Ya Abbas second person masculine second person second person second person Ya Abbas masculine singular right tazhabu exactly tazhabu you right number 8 uh, nahnu nazhabu nazhabu right nazhabu nazhabu see this is this is what this is all dr saab is trying to teach us and number 10 akhwati third person oh sorry i missed nine abi my father third person singular masculine ha ya sabu akhwati sisters third person feminine plural ya sabna ya sabna bilkul very good number 2 Okay in in number 2 Dr Saab is not giving us any particular uh, uh verb he is telling us to choose our own word uh, own verb right in a mudhare form 
So first we have to think about who are we addressing. Ya Sayyidi, oh my sir. Right? Oh my sir. So immediately I know it's a second person. Right? Masculine. Singular. And we are saying al lughatul arabiyata lughatul arabiyata the so uh, arabic language so a uh, tafham fahima understand tafhamu yafhamu he understands and when i say ya sayyidi tafhamu do you understand the arabic language oh my sir tafhamu because i'm using the anta form here number 2 nahnu Kurat al Qadami, soccer, Kulla Masain, every morning, every evening, every evening. So, Laiba, what is the meaning of Laiba, the verb? He played. He played, right? He played. So, when I'm saying Nahnu, what should I use here? Nalabu. Very good. Nalabu. Nahnu Nalabu. Kurat al Qadami, soccer, every evening. Number three, Ya Akhwan. Ikhwan, O oh brothers, right? O oh brothers. So it is second person, ruler, masculine. So I should be using antum form here. So, Afi Maha Jail Mujamayati, the hostel. Sakana Yaskunu, Taskununa, antum form. Do you all live? In the hostel, oh brothers, Akbar, hmm? just kununa. Uh, sorry, tas kununa, tas kununa, because I'm talking in second person, tas kununa. Number four, at the jaru. So you you know these uh, verbs. You just you you can use any verb. So that's what Dr. Sabi is saying. You choose your own verbs. So suitable verbs, so you can choose any verb you want. The, the point is, I'm saying Taskanuna, I'm, I'm Sakana means he, he lived, he lived. So we're talking to the, to, to the, <laughs> uh, to the brothers. So, so I'm going to use the Antum form, Taskanuna, right? Atu jaru dakaki nahum fisate tasiati. So the, the merchants are doing something to the to the uh, to the shops. What are they doing to the shops? They're opening them up. So fataha means, and I'm coming up with the verb here. Fataha means to open, and atu jaru, third person, ruler, masculine. Yeah, exactly, yaftahuna, yaftahuna. Fataha yaftahu yaftahani yaftahuna. Right? Yaftahuna. Number five. Al mudarrisu ad darsa ala saburati. The teacher is doing the uh, uh, doing with the lesson on the whiteboard. What does he usually do? Writes. Kataba, he wrote. Yaktubu, he writes. So I would use. Yaktabu, Yaktabu al Mudarrisu, Ad Darsa, because it is Mafulun Bihi, Allah Saburati on the whiteboard or on the board. Akhawatu, Hamzatu, sisters of Hamzata, sisters of Hamza, Bil Jamayati, they are doing something in the university. So, what do they do? They basically study, right? Darasa, Darasa. Yadrusna, Hunna Yadrusna, because we are talking the third person. Number seven, Ana Al Qurana Kulla Sabahin. I do something with the Quran every morning. What do I do? I read. Akar, Kara Yakarau, Yakarau, Takarau, Takarau, Akarau, Nakarau. So Akarau, right? We use Akarau. Fi ayi mahatati tanzilu ya sayyidi, which means in which mahatati means uh, bus stop, right? Bus stop. In which bus stop ya sayyidi, second person, masculine, second person, masculine, singular, oh my sir. So nazala, 
he he got down and then yanzulu he he gets down and then when i'm talking in a second person so tanzilu tanzilu number 9 ukhti my sister third person singular feminine i should be using the here form right she does something with the three languages so fahima yafhamu tafhamu my sister tafhamu she knows or understands three languages ah uh, third person tafhamu because uh, here is tafhamu here is tafhamu right here is tafhamu number 10 min ayi izatin al akhbar ya fatayat ya fatayat means young ladies oh young ladies second person right so in which radio station they 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 doing something with the uh, news al akhbar ya fatayat so what should i use samaya yasmau and when i'm using the antunna form tasmaana tasmaana right antunna form tasmaana if if you have not if you have not written it down then i would say go back home and then write it down is only going to help us understand this exercise and this concept a bit more because this is very important fail mudare comes in the quran all the time and we need to understand a identified as a mudare b we need to understand uh who is it addressing it to masculine feminine myself us right which form where is is it is it coming in a marfu form is it coming in a mansub form if it is coming in a mansub form why it is mansub so all these things are important for us to ponder upon the quran now the number 3 is very easy all of these sentences are wrong and dr saab is asking us to correct them right so ya maryamu ya maryamu i immediately know it's a second person feminine singular but dr saab is using tarifu should i using tarifu here ya maryamu atarifu now what should i use an anti form tarifina tarifina i should use tarifina an anti form number 2 at-tulabu the students al-fasla qabla dakhul al-mudarris so do the, the the students does something in the class before the entering of the, the the teacher right the teacher so what should i use at-tulabu yadkhulu yadkhulu number 3 at-tabibat we have learned this concept when in the third uh, uh person shajil bhai i think we have already learned this in the third person when the sentence begins even though it is jama the plural the sentence will begin with the singular form because otherwise we'll be dealing with the two uh the the two files so it's always used it is we always use a singular form yeah number 3 at tabibatu yakhrujuna should we should i use yakhrujuna yakhrujuna because we are talking third person feminine feminine plural at talibatul jududu fil fis fil saf fil akhir uh um, the students the new students are doing something in the last uh row so the doctor sab is using yajlisna should i use uh, yajlisna yeah tajlisna yeah exactly tajlisna number 5 ya ikhwan should i use tazhabna with ya ikhwan tasabuna faina tasabuna number 6 ukhti fil madrasat sanwiyati ukhti my sister tadrusu hiya form tadrusu number 
maza taktubuna ya banati oh my daughters oh my daughters what should i use taktubna maza takulina ya abbas abbas singular second person masculine taakulu right anta form maza taakulu number 9 nahnu nashrabu exactly dr sab is using ashrabu we should be nashrabu and number 10 satarjau abi min ar-riyadi fil usbu al qadami so my father third person singular masculine so what should i use sayarjau and this what is this sa here harf istiqbal right harf istiqbal the particle of futurity these are very good exercises for us to think about our mind how to use a proper form of fil mudhari what does it mean he will return he will return number 4 is very easy we have already done it all dr saab is telling us when i say yes habu this ya is representing harf mudhari right and zahaba is your verb and dhameer is mustatir taqdeeruhu huwa and it is marfu because of dhamma right because of dhamma yazhabuna ya is the harf mudhari zahaba is the fail a uh, fail waw is the fail and noon is the alamatu of rafa right because it is marfu because of noon tazhabu ta is the alamatu mudhari the sign of mudhari zahaba is the verb and dhameer is mustatir taq taqdiruhu hiya right and it is marfu because of dhamma yazhabna ya is the sign of it being mudhari zahaba is the fail and noon is the fail because it is mabni it is not the sign of uh, of of rafa here it is because it is the fail in yazhabna and tazhabna the noon is the fail tazhabu ta is the harf mudhari zahaba and dhameer is mustatir taqdiruhu anta anta tazhabuna ta is the sign of mudhari zahaba waw is the fail and the noon is the alamat of raf tazhabina ta is the sign of mudhari harf al mudhari zahaba is the fail ya is the fail and noon is the sign of it being marfu tazhabna ta is the harf al mudhari it's a very good chart zahaba is the fail and noon is the fail azhabu ya yeah, is the file where is ya is the file oh we we missed azabina right. we missed azabina so ta is the harf mudhari zahaba is the fail and ya is the file and noon is the sign of it being marfu tazhabna ta is the sign of mudhari zahaba and noon is the file azhabu hamza is the harf mudhari zahaba is the fail and dhameer is mustat now remember the five in your pocket the file is always mustat yeah. five in your pocket file is always mus zahaba yazhabu tazhabu tazhabu azhabu nazhabu the file is always mustat right so azhabu or nazhabu the file is mustat al kalimatul jadidatu سيارة تل أجراتي سفن أخيرون سيارة تل أجراتي what is the meaning of سيارة تل أجراتي the the taxi yeah yeah the taxi yeah 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 and سفن the row and سفوفن the rows and what is أخيرون the last one right the last one it's easy so we finished lesson number thirteen so it was very easy lesson very short lesson is a continuation of lesson number 12 but in lesson number 14 which is the next lesson we start in from next week inshallah is 
very important concept finally we come to learn more about fail amar in lesson number 14 dr sahib is introducing fail amar but we have already done it right and amar has been used in the quran we have to identify it and when the amar comes then we have to understand the emotions behind that amar namar and amar inshallah take we'll take advantage of it inshallah two more classes before ramadan we finish try to finish lesson number 14 uh, inshallah so with that we'll finish our class a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim la yukallifullahu nafsan illa wus'aha laha ma kasabat wa alayha ma ktasabat rabbana la tu'akhizna in nasina aw akhtana rabbana wala tahmil alayna isran kama hamaltahu ala alladhina min qablina rabbana wala tuhammilna ma la taqata lana bi wa'fu anna waghfir lana warhamna anta maulana fansurna alal qaumil kafirin Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh